I will just be going through um, a brief overview on basic care of domestic cats. So basically today I have Jenny behind me. She is a six year old domestic short hair. She is tabby in colour. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to remove her from her housing. So we're going to unlatch um, her cage, open it up and manually move her. So because she is quite a friendly cat, she doesn't tend to um, mind being handled too much. There is no need to completely scruff her, but we will still scruff her just in case, just to get a nice grip on her. We'll put our hand under her body and remove her to the next cage. Once she's in that cage, we will then latch it and that's where she will be held. Okay, so today um, with Jenny, we are going to be worming her today. Um, so basically the worming tablets that we are going to be using for her is going to be a Pogentol. Um, basically it's just an um, all-purpose um, cat wormer. Um, each tablet is a 25 milligram tablet. Um, one of my supervisors is going to be helping me um, administer that later on. So basically she's going to be restraining her and I'm going to be giving her that. So this is what we're going to be worming Jenny with. Now we're going to remove her out. Hey Jenny. Hey honey. Hey honey. Hi, so now that we have removed Jenny from her boarding cage, we are going to be worming her today. So with me today um, is one of our nurses, Sarah. So basically, I'm going to be assisting Sarah today um, in worming Jenny. So I'm just going to be uh, restraining her. Basically, what we're going to do now is um, Sarah's just going to ask me a couple of questions just so I can recognize um, some good health that I see in Jenny. Yes, yeah, so tell me what some signs are that Jenny has today that show that she's a healthy child. Okay, so on removing Jenny from her cage today, um, I just had a look at her gums. It just shows that her gums are nice and pink still, um, which means she's got good blood flow at the moment. Her gait seems to be nice and strong, no signs of any um, injury like to her legs or her limbs or anything like that. Um, her skin seems to be nice and moisturised, um, no signs of any sort of dermatitis, and her coat is nice and shiny. Um, so what we're going to be doing now, it basically, um, is just worming her, giving her her monthly tablet. I'm just going to be restraining her, um, making sure I've got my hands on her shoulders and just holding her body down so I'm in control while Sarah works her. Okay, so you make sure those little front paws don't come up and get me. Give me just like this. Yep, here we go. Open. Open. Down. No. Good girl, Jenny. Cool, so done. Now Jenny is wormed and we will go and pop her back in her housing. Now that we've moved Jenny out of there, we're just going to get her food ready for her now. So basically, just going to take this out, empty out the water, rinse it out, put some new water in there. Now we will remove this cage strap behind us, just so we don't latch over on us at all. Okay, so this is the food that we're going to be feeding Jenny today. Basically, it's just going to help along with her diet. It just helps us. Basically, because she is on a diet, we do need to measure her food out quite well. So she will only have half a cup of food. We're just going to fill back up her fresh water. Just pop this back in for her. Alright, so now we're just going to get Jenny. Alright, so we've already opened the cage just so she can go straight back in there. Once she'll get back in there, she'll be quite eager, be quite eager just to get into her food. So we're just going to open that door 100%, making sure that it's not going to fall back on us. Now we'll grab Jenny. Jenny is securely put back into her housing unit, 